So Canelo Alvarez knocks out Sergei Kovalev damn near out cold in the 11th round. This fight, well, where do we start with this? Um, the knockout, to say that came against the run of play, well, not against the run of play, that's implying that this fight was kind of, you know, up in the air, but no, this fight was competitive the whole way through. Early on from the first round, Sergei Kovalev established the jab, but he was really pawned with the jab. There was no real tut and power on it. But the simple reason there was no tut and power on it is because early on, you could tell straight away, Canelo was looking to counter. Then I was looking to counter, use his extra speed, and Kovalev was aware of that, so he really just focused on jabbing, 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 and kind of keeping his distance, but shoulder Canelo now and again, but the referee was pretty quick to step up on Kovalev and say, don't do that. Whereas Canelo, slow, but when he chose to fight, you could see he was accurate, he had the speed, and he was explosive. When I looked at the punch stats after, I think, four rounds, Kovalev was throwing way, like not even close, way more punches than Canelo, but Canelo was landing more. And they were power shots Canelo was landing. Canelo didn't really land too many jabs in this fight. He kind of abandoned that and just focused on the head movement, counter punching. After a while, the head movement kind of slowed down a bit. Not because Canelo was tired or anything like that, but purely because Kovalev was just throwing little pitter patter punches. So Canelo didn't feel the need to move the head, I don't think. And again, he was going to the body. There was moments in this fight early on where Kovalev looked uncomfy. And I watched this fight on the zone and they were kind of... Saying kind of what I was thinking, it's like, right, we see what's going on here. We see Kovalev's landing more shots. They're hitting the guard. They're not scoring shots. So who do we give these rounds to? And a lot of rounds, especially the sixth, that was the big round for Canelo. Um, you saw Canelo just land the better shots, the clean, effective, eye-catching, scoring shots. And I think in terms of power shots that were landed, I think the difference was it was was vast. I mean, like... Kovalev only had something like a 16% like connect rate on power shots. He wasn't throwing many power shots. But Alvarez had something like a 40% connect rate. And normally when you see someone land, when you see like a discrepancy that much in power shots, you can kind of tell who's winning this fight. Now, going into the 11th round, I thought that Canelo was ahead. I thought Sergei Kovalev won three, mound, three rounds maybe in this fight. You know, but that could be wrong, could be subjective. I'd be interested to see what the scorecard said. Because it did appear to be, it was a chess match this fight. You know, there was moments in the fight where the crowd even started voicing their opinion. And, you know, there was a few boos heard here and there. So, you know, it was definitely a chess match. And in the 11th round, the commentators on the zone were saying Canelo needs to step it up. They said that Canelo has five gears, but he's probably not even got out fully out of third gear. And no sooner did he say that, did Canelo Alvarez land. It was like a right hand that he landed on top of Sergei Kovalev's head. I thought maybe it was a balanced thing. Kovalev just kind of seemed to do a little dance. And Canelo then unleashed the combination, which culminated in an amazing right hand, which landed bang on Kovalev's chin, took him down. He was down for a while. He wasn't out cold, but he was all kinds of messed up from that shot. And I hadn't seen Kovalev noticeably troubled. I'd seen him maybe wince a few times from a body shot, but I hadn't seen him noticeably troubled from a head shot by Alvarez in this fight. Once that landed, I mean, it was... <laughs> It was all she wrote, and Alvarez showing even at 175 pounds, he can still punch with the best of them. You know, people say Alvarez, you know, at middleweight, can he punch? At middleweight, with these guys like Triple G, who has an iron chin, Danny Jacobs, who he never really landed with full power on Danny Jacobs. If he had landed that same right hand on Danny Jacobs that he hit Kovalev with, Danny Jacobs would have been all over the place. What a shot from Canelo Alvarez. I mean, I, I, against the run of play. And Kovalev, you know, the 11th round, he was able to take out Anthony Yard in the 11th round, and then his very next fight, he gets taken out. Kovalev in this fight, did he look shot? Not really. But I think definitely that is the coup de grace in his career. He's not coming back from that loss, in my opinion, anyway. He's made a lot of money from this fight, and definitely Buddy McGurk's done good things for Kovalev, but damn, that's the worst knockout defeat he said, because that's the, the Alvarez knockout was, was set up by one punch, but it was more so Kovalev not knowing how to survive, because could Kovalev weather the storm, maybe in those Alvarez fights, Andre Ward, the body shots did him, although some of them were low, whereas this was a just one punch, boom, done, all she wrote, what a shot by Canelo Alvarez, he is now a four division world champion, and one thing I say is, is that when you're doing it from kind of light middle to light heavyweight, that's more impressive to me than someone who starts their career, will say at like minimum weight, and then goes from there to super fly. You've gone up 10 pounds, 
and a lot of these guys are kind of in the same like weight bracket in all them divisions whereas someone going up from you know 20 odd pounds starting his career at 140 that's impressive to me that he's able to go and just, just do that and to, the fact that he's shown this kind of punch and power at this weight you know it's impressive Alvarez has reiterated the fact or hinted at the fact that he'll probably go back down to maybe middleweight although we said middleweight might be a challenge um it'd be interesting it'd be very interesting the zone were saying that they were looking forward to seeing him versus Golovkin again I think that's kind of what people some people want to see the rubber match I mean I've seen it enough now I think Canelo beats Golovkin in a third match but I think people like the zone they want to see that because they know it's just it's going to put bums in seats so that's kind of my thought on that in terms of this fight it was slow at times it was not the most entertaining fight but when it mattered and when it came down to it it was a one punch knockout and there it is that's all she can say about that Canelo Alvarez what can you say I mean like this is a man who is fighting these guys in his prime might not be in their prime but he's fighting them in his prime and you know there was talk of a rehydration clause in this fight you know I hadn't seen much about that but if there was so be it at the end of the day, he's not looking to do these catch weights and rehydration claws like a certain Floyd Mayweather used to do. They're just fighting at regular 175 pounds. So what Canelo's doing, fantastic, great performance, and I enjoyed this fight. Let me know what you think down below. Who would you like to see Canelo fight next? Would you like to see him stay at light heavy, maybe Paterbiev, or go back down to super middle or middle? Who knows? Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will talk to you after.